What's up guys, today I'm gonna go through the entire process of creating a video and then getting that video on Facebook so you can run an ad. Coming up. Their work complete, are headed back to the lab. Testing, one, two, all right guys so I foresee this video being a little longer than some of my other videos so I'm gonna have tags right down below in the description if you want to bounce around to different sections of the video maybe you just want to see how to get the video on Facebook maybe you want to see how I set up the landing page whatever it is I'm gonna have those tags in the description so feel free to bounce around now then I've spoken with a lot of lead sites users one-on-one -on -one in the past couple of weeks and I noticed that a lot of you still aren't using video here at Easy Agent Pro, we actually had a video ad running on Facebook last week, and at one point, it was picking up leads for less than a dollar an opt-in. That's insane, those numbers are crazy. So we're gonna hop over to my computer and we're gonna go through the entire process step by step. One disclaimer though that I wanna give you guys is today we're gonna be focusing on creating a video ad centered around a content giveaway. Meaning we're gonna have a free ebook that we're giving out to people opting in. The trade off for picking up contact information at that type of rate though is that you're getting people who aren't gonna be as immediately motivated to buy or sell as someone who say was looking at a pre-composed search. So maybe your list of single story homes. This type of ad is just about establishing as many contact points as possible for the most cost effective effective rate. And then it's gonna be about connecting those people to the right campaign you have running from your CRM. And I know what you might be saying already is, Kelvin, why would I care about giving these people an ebook when they're nowhere near buying or selling? And to that I would say you need to be pairing strategies like this that are geared more towards long-term and just getting more people in your business ecosystem. You need to pair that type of strategy with the short-term ad strategies that you have running that are getting you leads of people who are more interested in closing in the next one to two months. It's all about balancing the more expensive short-term lead generation with the long-term potential success. Now let's get started with our Facebook video ad setup. So what we're gonna be doing is looking to create a short video ad that is focusing on the angle of renting versus buying. What we wanna be doing is convincing people of the significant pros that are involved with buying a house as opposed to renting a home. So I've got a slideshow open right here and you can see all the different slides on the left-hand side of your screen. And this is a completely free resource that we have for you guys. So you'll actually find a link to it down below in the description if you wanna go get this slide and download it yourself and use it for the exact purposes that I'm detailing in this video, then you can definitely do that. Now what you wanna do before we create the video is download this slideshow. So in the top left, you've got file, download as, and then PDF document. You could also download this as a couple different formats, but PDF is what you'll want, so that way you could be emailing this out to people who are opting in on your Facebook ad. Now what we're gonna wanna do after we've saved the PDF is we're gonna create screen captured footage of us scrolling through these different slides. And you can add music to make it more engaging and it's a really great way to create a very short 30 to 40 second video for a Facebook ad. So let me show you exactly what this is gonna look like. And that's it, you could have people see this video on Facebook, see all the information that you're offering up for completely free, and then they can head back to your landing page and download this PDF directly. Now it's important to understand that with an ad campaign like this, your focus isn't to find people who are immediately incentivized to buy, obviously, because they're looking to rent and you're putting up information that is showing them the pros of buying over renting. So essentially you have to look at this as you're gonna be buying emails up from Facebook and getting these people into your business ecosystem where you can then be sending them email content on a frequent basis that is slowly gonna make them more and more familiar with you and your brand. And it allows you to take full advantage of the potential of video ads on Facebook, which are definitely one of the more cost-effective advertising methods you could be using right now. So if you're on a Mac, then what you would wanna do is open up QuickTime, and you can see I've got QuickTime right here, and then just right-click it and start a new screen recording. And as soon as your screen recording is going, just click the screen and hit present. So you've got full screen video here, and then wait for the controls to go away. There we go. And then just start scrolling through the slides. And take a brief second to pause between each slide so someone can read some of the information on the slides. And then when you're done, you can actually exit the slideshow and then go back to QuickTime, right click and click on stop screen recording. And then you would be presented with the raw file and that's what you're gonna wanna upload straight into Facebook. You're not gonna wanna put that video on YouTube and then Facebook. You'll wanna put it on YouTube so you can set it up on your squeeze page, but for the Facebook ad itself, we have to upload the file directly. For those of you watching this video who are on a PC and not a Mac and don't have QuickTime, I'm gonna go through YouTube and see if I can find a good video that'll detail exactly how you can capture screen footage. So be sure to check the description down below for that video link. 
Now, let's say we've captured our screen footage, we've got the raw video file. Now, before we create the ad, what do we have to do? What's the first thing we always have to start with before the ad? The landing page. So I'm now in the squeeze page section here and I've already created a landing page, renting versus buying. So if we go on this, let's click on edit and you can see the exact landing page layout that I went with. Looking to rent, have you thought about buying? Receive this free ebook today to learn more. Send me my free ebook. So now you'll also notice I'm being very careful with my phrasing here. So I said receive this free ebook and send me my free ebook because I want to incentivize people to give me the correct email addresses. And to help do that, I'm basically letting them know I'm gonna be sending you this information. So if you don't give me the correct email address, you're not going to get it. So this is gonna help incentivize correct contact information being filled out in those forms. And then we would redirect people who opt in from this page to a thank you page. And then from there, if you wanna give them the ability to download it directly because you've already got the information, that's totally fine. And then you could also be sending them the email with the ebook too so you've got two different routes covered but that's my opt-in button and down below you can see I've got the YouTube video so I did go with a video route I want to be using a video in my Facebook ad and I want to have that same video on my landing page itself which creates a significant amount of consistency in the messaging between our landing page and our Facebook ad and then down below the video I've got receive this free ebook today if you're looking to make the best decision of your future always consider the pros of buying over renting before you sign a lease and end up spending money monthly receive this free ebook weighing the pros and cons now, one more thing I wanna show you guys before I actually go into creating the Facebook ad itself, I wanna show you how I got this video right here on my landing page. So let's head on over to my YouTube account. So you can see I actually uploaded a couple different versions because I was testing out different export settings, but this is the one I ended up going with and I've got it as unlisted so nobody can see it on my channel. And then I've got the ability to grab the URL or the embed code. If you wanna embed this on your site, that's totally fine, but for your squeeze pages, all you need is this link right here. So we're gonna copy that and then go back to our squeeze page. And then if you were to click on the video, you can see there's the video link right here. All right, so, so far we've covered how to access the slideshow. Again, there's gonna be a link to this slideshow down in the description below this video. So head on over there if you wanna download this slideshow. And then we've got exactly how to set up our squeeze page. So we've got the different phrasing that you could be using. We've got exactly how to embed that video on your landing page itself. Now for the purposes of this example, I'm not gonna create the actual thank you page itself, but if that's something you guys wanna see in the future, I could actually spend an entire video going through creating the landing page and then connecting that landing page to the thank you page where you can actually offer up a download directly on that thank you page. So again, if you guys wanna see a full video on that whole process of just connecting your landing page to a thank you page, then leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to make that happen this week. Now then, I think we're ready to set up our Facebook ads. So let's head on back over to Facebook and we'll go into our ads manager. And we're gonna start with that ever so familiar marketing objectives panel. So I've got traffic and conversions. Those are the two different ones you're gonna to wanna to stick with most of the time. You could definitely consider experimenting with lead generation in the future, but right now what I would suggest sticking with is traffic or conversions. And which one you pick is gonna depend on how long you've had your website. So we have lead sites users who are very well established and are getting hundreds of people back to their website a day, meaning they would probably wanna use conversions because they've built up a lot of momentum in their website traffic. And that means that their pixel audience is probably pretty well established. Then on the other side of the aisle, we also have people who are just coming in in the last week. They've got their site launched. They have no website traffic coming back. So they would probably wanna consider starting with traffic just because it's never a bad idea to just have a high volume of people coming back to your landing page. So what I'm gonna do for right now, because I have a well-established website, I've got a lot of people coming back. I don't need to worry about just building momentum right now. I actually wanna focus on conversions. So I'm gonna click that and we're gonna name the campaign renting versus buying. And let's continue. And again, if you guys are selecting conversion as your objective, you wanna select the specific conversion that you set up right under this section here. If you guys aren't sure how to set up a custom conversion, I did go through that whole process in a previous video. So again, I'm gonna have another link to that video down below in the description. There's gonna be all kinds of resources in the description of this video for you guys. Now, if we scroll on down, we don't have access to a custom audience just yet. So we're gonna do United States and I'm gonna do, let's do Los Angeles. There we go. So the population density of somewhere like Los Angeles is significantly higher than Albuquerque, which is where I'm at. But what that gives me the ability to do is really fine tune this with detailed targeting options. So if I scroll down below, I'm not gonna touch the age, but I am gonna adjust the detailed targeting section. So let's do likely to move. 
And you can see when we add that, that drops our potential reach down to 110,000 people. Now we're sitting in a good spot right now with just likely to move, but maybe we wanna experiment with a couple more targeting features. So you can see you've got a bunch of different options to explore here. You've got homeowners, buying a house, first time home buyer, house hunting. The list goes on and on and you can get very specific with this, but actually looking at all these different things and remembering the angle that I'm choosing to leverage with this ad, I'm focusing on people who are currently interested in renting and not necessarily buying. So let's see if I can use renting. So I can, so I can select renting as part of my interest here and see what that does. And you can see that adding renting into my detailed targeting section really upped the potential reach of my ad, but I'm actually okay with that. This is going to make the ad less expensive because there's a wider volume of people. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as is, and we're going to scroll on down. And now we're going to want to edit our placements. I always like to make sure I'm unchecking Instagram. I don't think there's a reason for real estate agents to be advertising this type of content on Instagram. And you can see actually that did impact my potential reach as well. So taking off Instagram, because Facebook likes to automatically account for Instagram ads, that drops me down to 930,000. So we're refining that ad just a little bit more. And if you wanna cut this even more, you could definitely experiment with the age right in here. So let's even, let's make this 25. And that dropped us down to 800,000. So really fine tuning that age range is another way to really cut down this potential reach. And I actually think 800,000 is still anywhere from there to even that million. If you wanted to leave it at a million, I wouldn't say that's a bad idea. I'm gonna leave it at 800,000 right now. So we've got a pretty fine tuned and adjusted ad. Now we've got our budget. And what is our rule when it always comes to setting up the budget of an ad? You wanna do at least $10. I typically don't suggest going any lower than that because you're really gonna make it hard for the ad to gain visibility and bring in the type of numbers that you wanna be seeing. And we also like to make sure we're running the ad continuously starting today. We don't like to set an end date because that means you can pause the ad whenever you want and then resume it at a later date, which allows you to maintain all of the momentum that you've built up with that ad. So all the engagement, all the likes, everything that you've built up with that ad will be reserved even when you pause the ad. So we're gonna leave our budget at $20 a day. We're gonna be spending no more than 140 bucks for the week. We're gonna be looking for conversions. The conversion window is a seven day click. We've got our bid amount set to automatic. That's totally fine. Impressions, we're good to go. So let's move on forward. Now we're in the formatting section. So this is where we'd wanna select single video. And down below right here, you've got this plus icon. This is where we're gonna upload that video file directly. Again, we're not gonna be taking the video that we have on YouTube and putting it onto our Facebook ad, which seems to have confused some of the people I've worked with in the past couple weeks. We're uploading that video directly into Facebook. So I would click this plus icon and you can see I've got my video right here on my desktop and I would select open. Now when your video is done uploading, you're gonna see this screen right here. So you can see a preview of the video itself as well as the different thumbnails that I can select. Now obviously I would wanna select the cover slide as my thumbnail, so let's select that. And that looks a lot better. So I've got the little house, I've got a little text here, renting versus buying. Now if you decide to create your own custom thumbnail, that's totally fine, but just be very careful about the amount of text that you have because Facebook will block your ad if your text is taking up too much of the space here. So if I click on play, you can see there's my video. It's all queued up, loaded and ready to go. Everything looks good selected my thumbnail. Now let's scroll on down. And now I have all of the different formatting options available to me. So for website URL, we're going to be putting the squeeze page URL that we just created. We're going to put that in here. So I'm going to head back to my squeeze page. So this page here, I'm going to click on view and I'm going to copy this link right up here. And we'll go back to our ads manager and paste that link right there. There we go. So now we can finish formatting this. So our headline, renting versus buying. Let's just say, I'm gonna actually change this to download it here. Because in the text above, I'm gonna say, it's incredibly important to consider the pros of buying a home over renting. Download this free ebook today for more information. And that looks pretty good as is, and I don't have any data to support the fact that you should be adding emojis, but I'm just personally a big fan of emojis because I think they add some character to your ads. So I like to use Emojipedia, and this is a great place to go if you wanna just copy and paste the emojis from your desktop and you're not on your phone. So I would copy this, I would go back to my ad, and then right here in the text, space, and then just paste him. And there we go, we've got the little sunglasses emoji right there in our ad text. And the last thing we need to do, if we scroll down a little further, we can change our call to action button right here. You can see learn more. I actually think download's gonna work much better for this specific ad. So I would select download and there we go. Now we're good to go. So in the bottom right hand corner, just place your ad and you're done. 
As always, guys, thank you so much for watching our videos. If you want to support our channel, click on the circular Easy Agent Pro logo in the middle of your screen, or if you want to watch more of our videos, click on the video icon to the right. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a great day. Bye.